substantive question from Damien Hines, Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, the latest data gathered from a survey by the British Educational Suppliers Association indicates that UK ed tech exports are worth £170 million a year. This is expected to increase in the light of the pandemic, uh, which has uh, lifted demand for ed tech products and services. The UK is well placed to take advantage of this trend as the fourth largest market globally uh, and importantly, uh, more important than the market value is the difference that uh, good educational technology can make. I said to Hampshire with Damien Hines. Damien Hines. Um, thank you, Mr Speaker. My honourable friend will recall when we worked together on the international education strategy that EdTech was a key export growth area then, and that was before the focus that he mentions that the pandemic has put uh, on its role. So what can be done across government to maximise the export potential for EdTech for the future? I thank my right honourable friend for his question. He's quite right. Um, it was his time as Secretary of State for Education that we built much closer ties between our departments to make sure we could promote uh, education exports. Um, he's also right to highlight the pandemic's impact uh, on EdTech. Uh, we're working with BISA, um, the uh, British Educational Suppliers Association, and DFE, his uh, old department, on a major ed tech event uh, this month, which will connect companies with overseas buyers. More activity is planned for later in the year in several key markets, uh, supported by the international trade champion, Sir Steve Smith, uh, that post, of course, coming out of the work that he did in developing that international education strategy. Uh, we will soon be launching, he'll be pleased to know, a refreshed international education strategy imminently in collaboration with DFE and with the support of other government departments, which includes provisions to maximise EdTech's export potential.